The Laurentian University School of Architecture, opening in Sudbury's downtown by fall 2011, received over $700,000 in provincial funding on June 29th. The city has already committed $10 million over 11 years to the project, nearly one-third of the $35 million capital cost for the building. There's absolutely no question that it positions us very well with regards to uh, how we're defined as a community. It positions Laurentian University, how it's defined as a post-secondary facility. Obviously, there are economic spin-offs. This, this is an opportunity to create that industry called architecture that can make a difference to a community. The school is expected to boost the local economy during its construction phase and later on with the influx of students and staff to the city. Well, the direct economic spillovers, and just the direct ones, students' fees paid to the people in the city and so on, the transfer, the subsidy for students that comes from the province, is going to be between one and two million dollars a year forever, just spilling over into the community. So you'd value that as between 20 and 40 million dollars right there, not counting any of the other effects. You can go on the, then and say, what other spillovers? What businesses will start? What induced spending? What about visits from parents? What about people who come to see the architecture or come to the events that the school creates? A local architect says the school will do more than just produce architects. Architecture schools are kind of famous for producing designers, not just architects, but designers as a whole. Um, so as far as the overall city goes, I think that in another 10 years, you'll have this whole group of uh, designers within the community who would work on all kinds of different types of design from industrial applications to graphics to web design, as well as new architects traveling throughout the province and across Canada. The next steps are to hire a project manager for the school and to further develop a curriculum and marketing strategy. The funding will also help the school steering committee decide whether to build a new structure or renovate an existing building.